I'm Morgan Marion. I'm an entomologist, a bug expert, and I'm going to show you a hidden world. Are you ready to go bug hunting? Yes! Found one! Guys, Can come look at this. Wow! Since I was a kid, I've always been curious. Are bugs and insects the same all over the world? Are beetles in the southern hemisphere bigger than those in the north? And do bugs living in different countries do different things? I know we have some monarch butterflies in the southern hemisphere as well. I wonder if they go to Mexico too. I'm going on an incredible bug hunting journey around our planet to find out. And along the way, I'll be on the lookout for the biggest, the loudest, the weirdest, the coolest bugs you've ever seen. Let's go bug hunting. Bugs are not known for the noisiness, but some insects can be louder than a symphony orchestra or a tractor. Okay, guys, as loud as you can, we want to find the world's loudest bugs! Cicadas are one of the loudest bugs. Because they make lots of noise. I know some other ones, but I can't remember. I feel like it's a different animal, but it hops on the grass and it makes a sound. Grasshopper? Cricket? Cricket, yes. Guess what, my, my, my cat Mishka almost actually ate one. Can you hear that? What could be making that noise? It's crickets. But why would they make that sound? Well, just like us humans talking to each other, crickets like to communicate. They like to know where other crickets are. Other insects might use pheromones or the way they look to communicate, but crickets use sound. Crickets make this chirping sound by rubbing their wings together. Like humans, crickets hear sound through their ears. However, cricket ears are tiny and on their legs. I want to find out which insect makes the loudest noise and why. Let's see if my bug book has any information on loud insects. Aha! Cicadas. These loud bugs are found all over the world. And there looks to be more than 3,000 different species of them. Let's go learn some more. And I know someone who could help us. Are you ready? Let's do it. Using my bug book, I'm teleporting to the southern hemisphere. This is my New Zealand lab garden. And this is Ollie, who's quite possibly the youngest cicada expert in the world. And how did you become interested in these cicadas? I've always been interested in cicadas. When I was nine, I started writing a field guide about them. Did you know, Morgan? There's 42 different types of cicadas in New Zealand. Wow, that is a lot. Can you tell me about these? This here is a clay bank cicada. Why is it called that? Because when scientists first found it, it was on a clay bank. Classic. And what about the other one? This one here is a variable cicada. And what makes it variable? It can come in many different colours, like red, orange, green and even yellow. So Ollie, I'm looking for the loudest bug. Would a cicada be one of the loudest bugs in New Zealand? Yes, definitely. The loudest in New Zealand is a chorus cicada. These two here aren't chorus cicadas, but they're still pretty loud. Hey, I think I can hear one now. It's got a rhythm to it, kind of like a beatboxer. How yes. does it make that sound? They've got two organs on the side of their bodies called timbals. When retracted in and out very fast, they make the buzzing noise. It's a bit like this jarlet. Is that just to find mates? Does it do anything else? Ah, yes. Groups of cicadas can band together to make a very loud noise, which scares off birds. Wow, that's a really cool anti-predator defense. Hold on, I think I can hear that chorus cicada again. I'm going to grab a quick recording of its call so I can analyze it later in the lab. There, I think that's enough. The life cycle of a cicada is usually two to five years long. Some North American cicadas can live for up to 17 years. I found a dead bumblebee. Did you? Before becoming an adult, cicadas shed their skin. If you look hard enough, you can find these abandoned exoskeletons on plants and tree bark. 
Where do you think it came from before that? Um, I think it came under the floor, under the ground, and then when it's ready, I think it went up to the train um, hatch. That's right. So the young of the cicadas, the nymphs, they spend a lot of their time on the ground. Once they're ready to hatch and become an adult, they come out and climb up the nearest tree, and then they molt into an adult. The nymph, as you can see from it, didn't have any wings, doesn't have any of the mature organs, but once it becomes an adult, it's got wings. And then all those sounds you can hear everywhere, those are the cicadas trying to call to each other to find their mates and start the whole cycle all over again. I think cicadas can get louder than a bus. Louder than the school bell. Very loud, you hear them in the morning. I do not know how insects make loud sounds. With their mouth? Maybe they have different accents. Or maybe they have different languages. As we learned with Ollie, New Zealand cicadas can be pretty loud. The loudest cicada in New Zealand is the Kora cicada. In Māori, it is called Kihikihi Wawa. The meaning of Wawa is to roar like the sound of heavy rain. I know there are cicadas in the Northern Hemisphere. I wonder if they're as loud as the ones here in New Zealand. Let's go find out. Using my bug book, I'm teleporting to Ontario, Canada. This is Arendelle Park in Mississauga. Cicadas in the Northern Hemisphere can be found in the same sort of places as the Southern ones. They can be found in forest, woodlands, and urban parks. Helping me today is Gil, who's an entomologist like I am. I'm interested to see if the cicada looks the same as the New Zealand one. And they look fairly similar. Gil, what is the cicada? This is the dog day cicada. They are mostly green and black, and they're slightly smaller than their New Zealand cousins. But do they make noise in the same way? Well, yes, yes they do. They make noise using timbos. These are sound producing organs on their abdomen, and they vibrate them in high frequency to produce a buzzing sound. But their songs sound very different. The dog day cicada builds up the song. They go while their New Zealand cousins have more of a beatboxing sound where they go That's really cool. I'm going to record this Canadian dog day cicada with its building song on my bug book. And then we can compare to see which is loudest back at the lab. Okay, time to find out who's the loudest. And I've got my recordings of the cicadas here on my bug book. So first, let's test the Cora cicada from New Zealand. And now the dog day cicada from Canada. Wow, they're both so close. And actually, they've both been recorded at nearly 100 decibels. That's as loud as a motorbike. So who is the loudest? Well, in this instance, we have a tie. The prize of the loudest insect needs to be shared between the Northern Dog Day Cicada and its cousin, the Southern Hemisphere Chorus Cicada. <laughs> what are your favorite bug noises and what do they sound like? Crickets make a chirping sound. <coughs> Cicadas sound like this. It sounds like this. Ding ding ding. It's very annoying. Before I go, let's record the rest of my findings. Today, I've learned that the loudest bug in the world is a cicada. There are over 3,300 species of cicadas in the world, and we got to listen to two. Both produce similar noise to attract mates, but have very different songs. It's amazing to me that on either side of the world, these two ancient cousins share so much in common. I hope you've had fun today. See you next time, and remember, be curious.